have a nice day welcome to the video lecture data structure stack adt so myself r rampriya working in uh, csc artificial intelligence department madanapalli institute of technology and science madanapalli so today we are going to see about the concept of data structure in the data structure we are going to see about the concept of stack adt so before going to the stack adt first we need to know about the what is data structure the data structure is nothing but data structure is nothing but the way of representation or organization of the data so for that representation organization we are using two different types of variety of data structure one is the linear data structure another one is the non linear data structure the stack is the type of linear data structure so come to our video presentation so this is uh, this is the flow of presentation so first we need uh, we are going to see about the stack adt so next we are going to see about stack operations so afterwards we are going to see about the implementation of stack coming to the implementation of stack we have two implementation array implementation and linked list implementation so finally we are going to see about application of this stack so this is the flow of presentation of the video lecture so already i said so stack is the linear data structure which represents the data in a sequential manner so it comes to our stack representation the data can be represented in a linear way linear way in the sense data can be arranged one by one that means sequentially order so next here the stack follows two operations the, the two operations are insertion and deletion operations so for performing insertion and deletion operation stack follows one rules uh, both the insertion and deletion operations can be performed in only one end that means top end so this is the rule stack follows the so stack follows one rule to perform the add, add, uh, insertion and deletion operations both the insertion and deletion operations can be performed at only one end that end is called as top end so next the initially uh, the top value should be minus 1 so initially when the stack is empty you consider the stack is empty so at the time of empty stack the top points to the minus 1 so, uh, next uh, stack follows what principle so which principle stack is working so uh, you take one real world example so we have uh, one uh, stack uh, cd uh, cd stack cd stack la how we are arranging the cd so we are arranging the cd one by one yes sir no? so we have one cd stand no? so we are inserting the cds one by one in the cd stand uh, so first what you inserted cd in the cd stand that can be removed at the last yes or no so what we inserted last cd in the cd stand that can be removed first so this is the principle of working of stack so stack working under this principle only so take another example you have tray of plates so how you are arranging the plates in tray so one by one you are arranging yes so which plates you kept last that plate only we are removing first so this is the principle of working stack so stack works under the principle of last in first out or first in last out yes as i as i mentioned no so same like that so the principle of working of stack is last in first out or first in last out principle it is working so you take two real time example like arranging the plates in tray and then arranging the cds in a cd stack okay na so uh, see the diagram so this is the diagram no so in the diagram no there is no elements in this stack so this is the empty stack representation so in this representation what is the top value already i have mentioned no so top value is the minus 1 so in the at the time of stack is empty your top value is minus 1 so next next is about stack operations so already i have mentioned so what are the two fundamental operations in the stack push and pop so push refers the insertion pop refers the deletion so okay na so next top top is the operation it's going to returns the top of the element of the stack so comes to the push operation so push operation always refers insert an element into the stack so before you are inserting the element into the stack first we need to increment the top value by 1 so what i am going to say means every push operation first you increment the top value by 1 afterwards you insert the element into the stack so comes to the pop operation so every pop operation what we are going to do first we need to remove the element from the stack afterwards we need to 
decrement the top point by 1 that means top value by 1 so this is the process we are going to do every push and every pop so again i am repeating to you so every push operation first you increment the top value by 1 afterwards you insert the element at the particular top position so next you come to the pop operation first remove an element from the top uh, afterwards you decrement the top value by 1 so finally top operation top operation what it's going to do so it's return the top value of the stack it's going to return the top value of the stack so see the diagram so this is your stack so we are performing two operation i said already push is going to insert a particular element here x is going to the uh, it's x is going to insert into the stack so x is an any element you consider any element x may be any element so this element is going to insert into the stack so before going to insert first you need to increment the top value next we are going to delete the element delete and insert both the operations can be performed in only one in that is called as top okay so comes to this slide so this uh, uh, i think uh, this slide is going to explain very clearly about what i said previously so this is the empty stack so first stage initial stage the stack is empty okay consider this stack is empty what i said when the stack is empty the top value is minus 1 yes so after that what we are going to do in the next step what we did so we are going to insert one element so insert means what operation we need to follow push operation so insert means push delete means pop so first we are going to insert an element into the stack one by one okay so first what we are doing means we are inserting one element into this stack by using push operation so how the how to call the push operation push off element so which element you are going to insert into the stack okay now so push off 10 so before doing push operation what we have to do we need to increment the top value by 1 so what is the value already so what is the stack value already so stack value is sorry stack is empty so that time top value is what minus 1 top value is minus 1 so now what we are going to do we are going to push one element into the stack so that time what we have to do first already i informed to you already i said to you first you increment the top value by 1 so what is top value already minus 1 plus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 the top value will get 0 so here you come to this point so top value is 0 here okay so now top value is 0 okay so next so at that portion of top 0 we are going to insert the element 10 okay come to the next so next we are going to push an another element into the stack the element is 12 so before inserting the element as i said previously the same you need to follow so already top value is 0 so 0 plus 1 1 now top value will get 1 so the element 12 can be inserted at the position of 1 of the stack okay now top value is 1 so next third element is going to insert into the stack so the third element is 7 so 7 is going to insert into the stack so now what is the top value already top value is 1 before going to insert element 7 first you increment the top value so last top value is 1 1 plus 1 2 so now top value is 2 so the 7 is going to insert it into the second portion of the stack yes clear so next come to the pop operation so as i said earlier so pop means what we have to do first we need to remove particular element so remove particular element in the sense we can able to remove only one element top element only we can't able to remove element from the middle or last yes yes no so that is the principle that is the rule and principle i said earlier what is the rule of the stack insertion and deletion both can be performed at only one end that end is called as pop, top end we can't able to middle and last okay so the top element only can be able to remove okay so what is the top element of the stack 7 so first time of pop operation 7 only can be removed from the stack so after removing what we have to do we need to 
decrement the top value. So what is the top value already? 2. So 2 minus 1, now top value will get 1. Yes. So again we are popping. So again what is the top element? 12. So 12 is going to remove from the stack. So after removing top of 12, so what is the top value we will get? Top value is 1, 1 minus 1, 0. So finally, only one element presented in this stack. Yes. So next, we need to see about the top operation. So top of yes. Top of yes already I said, what is the purpose of top of yes? It's going to return the top element of the stack. Yes. So what is the top element? Only one element is present. Yes. That element only the top element. Obviously, that element only the top element. Yes. So this operation is going to return 10 as a value. Got it? Clear? So shall we move on next? So next we are going to see about implementation of stack. So uh, already what are the things we have seen? What is stack data structure? So next what are the operations can be performed in the stack? So for doing that operation what rule we need to follow? So which kind of principle the stack is working? Yes, these things we have seen. Yes, next how we are going to implement the stack? So stack can be implemented in two ways. So these two powerful ways about pointers and arrays. Yes. So consider the two types of implementation. So what are the two types? I said array and pointers. Already you know the difference between array and pointers. Yes. So array means limited access, limited element only we can able to insert. That means limited means memory can be limited here. We can't be able to resize the memory of the stack. Yes. So once you fixed the array size as 5, you can be able to insert only 5 elements or below 5 elements you can insert. Yes. So one, you are coming to pointers implementation. The memory will be dynamically increased or decreased. Yes. Got it. So here the array can be implemented using two powerful ways. One is the array, another one is the pointer. Yes. So array is the static implementation, pointer is the dynamic implementation. So you know the difference between static and dynamic. Static means once you fix the size, you can't able to beyond the size. Dynamic means you can be able to do any time extending the memory or decreasing the memory. Yes, got it. So come to the push operation. So while push an element, whenever you are going to push an element, so you need to check whether the stack is full or not. Yes, obviously you need to check. Yes, when you are going to the array implementation when you are going to array implementation yes you need to check every time when you are going for push operation you need to check whether the stack is full or not yes so if you are not checking the stack is full or not so you are going to insert the element already full the stack means it's showing some exception to you array index out of the range already the stack size is 5 yes consider this array the stack already the stack array size is 5 so already five elements inserted in the stack. So you are trying or attempting to insert another one element into the stack in the position of next position. So stack size is five. Already stack completed with five elements. Again you are going or trying to insert sixth element into the stack means what error it will show to you? Array index out of range error. That means already stack is full. You can't be able to insert another new element into the stack. So that only I am saying. Before going to insertion, you should check whether the stack is full or not. Okay. So, uh, for this attempt, you show two exceptions to us. So, one is stack overflow exception, another one is stack underflow exception. Okay. So, when the stack overflow exception will come, when we are trying or attempting to insert an element, when the stack is full, exception, what exception it will show? Stack overflow exception, it will show. So, exception means you know, yes, what is exception in the sense. So next, when the stack underflow exception will come, when the stack is empty, that time you are trying to delete an element from the stack. Already stack is empty. So how you will try to delete element from the stack? So that time, the underflow exception will come. Yes, are you understood? So two exceptional condition will be, one is stack overflow exception, another one is stack underflow exception. Okay, got it. So comes to implementation now. So stack implementation using array. So first in this, we are going to see about push routine. Yes. 
so consider the array size is 5 here okay 5 or anything you can fix okay so in this push routine what are the arguments it takes one is the element another one is tag so which element where you are going to insert okay now so push is the operation so return type of this operation or function is void is push is going to insert a particular element x into this stack okay got it so push is the procedure or routine it's going to insert one element x into the stack okay so what i said before going to do push operation first what we need to do we need to check array size that means stack is full or not how to check array size uh, stack is full or not uh, by checking top equal to equal to array size whenever the top value reached the array size maximum array size means the stack is full yes yes or no same no so whenever the top value top value reach the array size that time the stack is full the error will come as the stack is full so you can't able to insert a x into the yes okay so for an example our array size is 5 okay our array size is 5 so 5 means what is the meaning so we can able to insert 5 elements into the stack so the element starting position is what 0 ending position is what n minus 1 what is the n value here 5 yes consider an example so what i said our array size array size for example you are consider array size is 5 okay so how the elements gets arranged in array 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 4 yes totally 5 elements so first top value is what 0 1 2 3 4 so finally the top value will get here 4 okay now yes so already top value is 4 so what is the top value now 4 what is array size here array size here you put array size minus 1 it will be good okay array size minus 1 means array size is 5 5 minus 1 is 4 so top equal to equal to array size minus 1 okay now so top value is 4 equal to equal to array size is 5 5 minus 1 equal to 4 so condition gets satisfied that time we can't able to insert a new element into the stack so the error will come as stack is full okay so next another thing take the second example your array say same 5 top value is consider this is the stack already 10 presented 20 is presented over there 30 so now you are going to insert a new element x into the stack so we are going to insert a new element into the stack so x so already 0 1 2 so top value is now 2 okay so what you are going to check here you are going to check what is our top value 3 3 equal to equal to 4 condition is what false yes top values here consider the second one second one la what is the top value sorry not 3 2 top value is 2 2 equal to equal to 4 condition false so comes to the else option okay in this situation if condition gets failure yes why because means top value is 2 2 equal to equal to 4 condition false so comes to else option so in this else option what we have to do we are going to push a particular element x into the stack yes so before going to push what we what need to do first increment the top value by 1 so what is the top value already 2 2 plus 1 3 so now the top value incremented as position 3 okay so next s of top s of top in the sense what is the meaning s of top means s of 3 s of 3 equal to what is the x value you take any x value ma. for example 40 or 50 whatever the value you can get for the x so s of 3 equal to x so x equal to 40 here so the 40 successfully inserted over the stack got it yes 
is it understandable to you so very easy so when we are going to push operation you need to consider two arguments x x is going to insert where you are going to insert in stack you are going to insert okay so before going to insert what i said to check top equal to equal to array size minus 1 maximum array size you need to check okay so if it is correct if it is satisfied the error will come if the condition not get satisfied you need to move on to the else option so else option means else else option is going to insert an element so before going to insert you first increment the top value afterwards you insert the particular top position okay clear so next next move to the pop operation so before pop one element from the stack what i said to do first you have to check whether the top value reached minus 1 or not yes once top value reached minus 1 the stack is empty okay now so you check once whether the stack value is minus 1 or not how we will check only the empty stack will follow stop value equal to minus 1 yes otherwise the top value with some values okay now so see the stack one element is present over there so the top value obviously somewhat somewhat will be so one element means the top value will be zero yes zero equal to equal to minus 1 condition get false okay so come to the else option so now we are going to uh, remove the element of the top so what is the element top 10 so s yes of top s yes of top in the sense what is the top value zero so s yes of zero s yes of zero la what is there 10 so 10 can be stored in x okay so afterwards decrement the top value so what is the top value already what is the top value already top value is already top value is what zero yes so we removed the element from the zeroth position so now we are going to decrement the top value zero minus one it will come minus one got it so for pop operation we need to pass only one argument that argument is stack okay before we have seen no push operation in that we passed two arguments but in the case of pop operation we need only one argument only stack from the stack we are going to remove top of the element that's it okay okay very easy okay first we need to check whether the stack is empty or not once empty you leave it once print the message and leave from the routine okay exit from the routine so if it is not empty so first store the top element into the x afterwards decrement the top value enough okay it's fine to you so next top routine come to the top routine so already i said to you what is top routine purpose it's going to return the top of the element of the stack okay it's going to return the top of the element of the stack yes so from the answer we came to know so only stack is need to follow here so only the stack is the argument we are passing here so what is the return type of the function int so int float char whatever you can keep okay why because we are keeping int as a return type means the function at the end it's going to return some value yes some value of the stack okay now so the same like pop only so what we are doing here here we are going to store the top value of the stack so for an example you consider another one example when it comes to this example only one element present over there no so what is the top of the element 10 okay so x equal to s of top s of 0 equal to 10 so return x what value will get return 10 only it's going to return so come to next example so another one example see this case 10 12 25 30 5 yes so this time what is the top value this is the top position yes so top this one 0 1 2 here 3 okay so now top value is equal to 3 come to our routine so this is the stack 
so x equal to s of top s of top in the sense what s of 3 so f of s of 3 la what value presented so 35 so what is the x value now 35 so return x so return x in the sense 35 is going to return okay so are you understanding what i am saying so the top protein is going to return the top element of the stack okay so the top element can be hidden okay now so this is about the array implementation so what are the things we have seen here so the implementation of array implementation of stack using array for the three routines what are the three routines push pop and top okay so move on to next so already i said stack using array is very easier implementation compared with pointer implementation okay while coming to the pointer implementation we need some structure we need to follow some structure so that already i said no so pointer implementation is the dynamically increasing array size sorry increasing the stack size okay so we can able to increase the size of the stack dynamically not fixed size here but in the case of array stack size is fixed okay so comes to implementation of pointer is not a fixed size for the stack okay we can we can increase whatever the size we want whatever the element we, we are going to insert we can able to insert there is no fixed size here so here pointer we are using for the implementation of stack so stack implementation using pointer uses the structure concept pointers concept as well as dynamic memory allocation functions okay got it so before you are going to use this concept you should know aware of structure pointer and dynamic allocation concept dynamic memory allocation concept once you have this knowledge it is very easier to understand okay so comes to the first structure node declaration so why we are going to stack node declaration or structure node declaration means so using pointer we need to use node representation node in the sense this is the node okay so this is the node so here node represents data and the next value okay so there are two field in the node each and every node contains two things one is the data part another one is the next part so data part hold any type of value next part is going to point out the next node got it what i'm saying very easy so comes to using pointer concept that stack node node it has two parts one is the data part another one is the next part here next part, part is the pointer part so the next part is holding the next node address already we came, already we know about the knowledge of pointer so pointer means what what is the difference between normal variable and pointer variable so pointer variable can be able to hold the values okay rather than the uh, sorry normal variable can be able to hold the values pointer variables can be able to hold the address of the another variable yes this is the concept what we are using so here in the structure node we have struct is the keyword stack is the node name that means structure name so here struct is the keyword structure keyword stack is the structure name so structure stack has two values two part one is the data part another one is the next part so data part may be any type integer character float whatever the type you can mention next part is there no so this is also one of the structure type got it so we we came to know from this so next is the variable what type of variable pointer type of variable what is the type of pointer variable struct stacker okay so again this variable is one of the structure okay got it so next under the structure stack we have another uh, this is the element this is the variables so these two are the elements these two are the structure element of the stack so these are all the variables of the structure stack so here difference is there element is different variable is different okay the structure stack has two elements one is the type of integer another one is the type of structure stack pointer variable pointer element okay so next top new and p these are all the structure variable of the structure stack type okay 
So initially, top pointer points to the null value. Got it? Top pointer points to the null value. Why it points to the null value initially? Already we have seen no, in array implementation, same like that. So initially, top value is null. That means there is no, a pres no uh, sorry, there is no elements presented over the stack. Okay, that is the meaning of top equal to null. Okay, no? so next. So in this slide, only we are declaring the structure node. Okay, no? so structure node means stack node. Stack node, la, what are the elements we are having? So what are the variables we are declaring? Okay, no? next. So come to push routine using pointer implementation. So here we are going to push an element x into the stack. Okay. So before going to push an element into the stack, first we need to create one new node. First we need to create one new node. So already I said no. So only node only going to insert. Okay. Na? So in that node we have two elements. One is the data element, another one is the next pointer. Okay. So new new is the what is that new is the variable of the structure stack already in that previous slide i have mentioned okay no? so new is the structure stack variable is one of the type of pointer variable so here new node we are creating a new node with some memory allocation so what is the memory allocation here structure stack so for that size of structure we are allocating the memory to the new node okay so new arrow data so after creating listen after execution of this line so after execution of first line so what we have means uh, after this line so after this line we will have one new node okay so one new node will be created Okay, with some memory address. What a memory address? It's a mem mem continuous memory, no? Computer memory is the continuous memory. It can be allotted automatically to you. Okay, so after this first line, we will get one new node like this. So after this new node creation, okay, after this new node creation, what do you have to do? Next line, la, new node arrow data equal to x. New node arrow data equal to x. Okay, so new node arrow data equal to x means new node is this one. Arrow data, data means this part. Okay, so it's going to assign by x. Next, new node arrow next. This is the new node. See, come to this. This is the new node. No, new node arrow data assigned as x. New node arrow next means this part. Yes, it's going to assign by null value. Okay. So next check that condition. What are the conditions we are going to check here? So first, two conditions are there. So what are the two conditions? So our new node is the first node of the stack. Is first option. Second option is our new node is one of the node presented in the stack. Okay. So first option la whatever we created that is the first node of the stack. This is the first. If top equal to equal to null, that means stack is initially empty. Our created node is the first node of the stack. So in this case, we will get structure like this. Okay. So x may be 23. So 23 is inserted. So okay. x equal to 23. New node arrow data equal to x. So this is the new node. So new node arrow x. x is this part. Sorry, data is this part. New node arrow data equal to x. x equal to 23 new node arrow next so new node arrow next null so what is that new node arrow next equal to null means only one node our node is the first node okay so there is no node presented over there okay so that time our new node arrow next equal to null okay next top equal to new what i said clearly top always points to the first element of the stack what we are inserting last that is the top value yes so here no node only one node so top obviously points to that only one node okay no? so top we need to make us new node got it so comes to the next option 
so what i said if top equal to equal to null means our new node is the first node of the stack so if suppose already nodes are present over there so our new node is going to be one of the node one of the node in the sense our new node is the top node yes so already this is the stack representation c 10 14 45 there are three elements in this stack okay so 10 14 45 so what is the concept here first is the data part second one is the next part next part is the address variable pointer variable it's going to point out the next node so what is the next node address 550 so this address going to store here when the address is comes to store here obviously the connection will be from this to this okay yes the first node obviously will connect with the second node so same like that so take the second node 14 is the data part so this is the address part that means next part so next part is going to point to the next node so what is the address of next node 600 so when we are making to store 600 it's obviously it's automatically established the connection from second to third node so there is no node after the third node so the next pointer will be null here okay this is already presented stack so our new node is one of the node of the stack now so comes to the else option new node arrow next equal to top new node arrow next equal to top so already what we did uh, top equal to new we did no so new node arrow next new node in the sense this is the new node arrow next so we are making this is the top top node is what before that before inserting this element this is the top node no 10 is the top node correct no so which one is the first node that is the top node so 10 10 is the top node okay so what we are doing new node arrow next new node is what this is the new node so new node arrow next means what this is the part so it's going to assign by top node top node is what previously 500 500 is the top node okay 500 is the top node so 500 is going to assign here so 500 when it's come to here the link will get established got it yes so what is the meaning of this means so before inserting our node new node see before inserting our new node this is the top node yes this is the top node so what we are doing new node new node is this one new node arrow next means this part this is going to linked to our top node okay so what is the address of top node 500 so 500 can be stored here okay once we are storing 500 here the link will get from this node to that here we will get the link okay now yes so what is the next line what is the next line obviously our new node whatever we inserted that node will come as a top node so this top changed as a this one so previously 10 is the top value now the top value is changed as 23 yes got it understood so what we are doing here first we are making the connection to top node to our new node afterwards we are assigning our new node as the top node enough easy understanding no so first we need to push an element into the stack means first we need to create one new node yes for that creation we need to use dynamic memory allocation function mlog function mlog function is the dynamic memory allocation function is going to allocate the memory for the size of the particular data type yes so after creating the node after allocating the memory one new node will get created with one sp some specific address okay so after that we are going to assign the data part and the next part enough so two condition will be whether the tap equal to null otherwise tap has some value so these are all the two choices or two cases we are going to follow when we are doing push operation so there are two cases one case our new node is the first node of the stack or our new node is only one node presented the stack so second case already stack is there 
in that stack we are inserting our new node and we are making our new node as the top node okay i think you are getting point getting to my point yes so move on to next what is the next routine pop routine yes so pop routine very easy routine no need to create any node just we are popping the top value from the stack yes so this is the empty stack so when the stack is empty we can't be able to perform any pop operation that means any delete deletion operation so this is the first case so in that first case no deletion so obviously the error will come stack is empty so come to the second case else option some to the second case so what is the second case this is our presented stack yes so what is our top element 23 is the top element so 23 10 14 45 this is the link this is the stack so first element 23 10 second element 14 is the third element 45 is the last element of this stack okay this is the stack structure now so we are going to perform the deletion operation so obviously when we are going insertion or deletion we need to refer only top point top end only so what we need to do so p equal to top what is p p is the position so already in that stack stack node declaration itself we have declared p is the what is that structure stack variable is the pointer variable so we are making position position p equal to top what is the top value now 650 650 so p also now going to follow the 650 so top and p both are pointing same location 650 element 23 got it so next top equal to top or next top equal to top or next so mm, okay so top top is what here this is the top no this is the top so top equal to top or next top equal to top or next top equal to top arrow next top arrow next means this field so now top equal to what will come 500 so before the line before this line top value is 615 i said no so both the top and p points to 650 after making top equal to top arrow next top arrow next top 650 650 arrow next what will come 500 so after this line top value will change it as 500 so now top is going to point here this is the top after the after this line okay yes so next x equal to p arrow data x equal to p arrow data comes to this line so p is where still in 650 only yes only top position changed p is in 650 only okay so x equal to pro data pro data in the sense p position is p value 650 arrow data so 650 arrow data 650 this position arrow data in the sense 23 so x assigned as 23 yes so afterwards free of p free of p p value is what 650 already i said no p is the pointer variable of the type of structure stack so free of 650 so this node will get delete okay got it so after this line that node will get delete so after the deletion we are going to return the deleted element deleted element x value is 23 is going to be written why we are returning means here we are keeping integer as the return type that's why after the popping operation the popped element is going to return over there okay understood yes so next slide will show after the deletion after the deletion operation or pop operation how the stack will be yes got it yes no so now after the deletion you came to know x get popped so after the pop 
this is the stack structure so before popping we have four elements yes after popping stack has only three elements okay now got it so next come to the last routine top routine so very easy routine so top also we can't able to do when the stack is empty okay we know what is top operation top operation is going to return the top element of the stack yes so there is no element present over there how we can able to return so okay na so in that empty stack in the case of empty stack we can't able to return any element okay so simply it will print the message and it will return back so next when the stack presented some elements the stack has some elements that time we are going to print what we are going to print top of the stack so top arrow data top element is the type of integer so you know what print of statement what is the syntax of print of statement so integer element that's why we are doing percentage d as the format specifier then top arrow data yes got it so next stack applications stack is the efficient data structure very easy data structure to manage the data okay so here uh we are we can able to use uh, many applications we can able to use so so what are the operations of the stack uh, what are the applications we are uh, we can able to manage with this stack so what are the application we can able to manage so recursive operations reverse operation so uh, recursive operation in the sense backtracking algorithms backtracking algorithms like uh, tree traversal op operations like in order pre order post order traversal dfs traversal uh, bfs traversal eight queen problems these things apply um, these things can be applied by using stack only okay so backtracking algorithm is the recursive algorithm okay by recursively we can make the solution that time we can use stack application so now that time we can use stack data structure to apply the backtracking algorithm say either in tree traversal or enquin problems whatever may be it can be implemented by using stack data structures next reverse string so stack can uh, sorry reverse string reverse in the string in the sense what first we are uh, making string is a normal order that means push push uh, pushing every character in the string okay next we are popping every character from the string means what it will happen how the pop operation we can able to do last inserted character removed first so obviously we can get reverse string okay so next uh, many of the application implement the uh, undo functionality yes come to the undo operations undo operations is also based on the stack structure only reversal operations sir. next uh, web browsers so web browser so come to the web browser our visited history web page visited history will, will be shown to the shown to you no how the visited history will be how the page is showing to you so recently visited page will come top most yes this also follows the stack structure okay so these are all the operations undo operations uh, uh, tree traversal operations uh, reverse the string uh, so test editor la undo we are following test word in the case of word also we are following the undo operations uh, these things following the stack structure to do web browser la history of visited page also following the stack data structure so these are all the reference i have taken to make the video lecture so thank you thank you very much